Hey guys, Paul Salmon here. I went out earlier with uh, my business partner. We did some um, auto rotations, including some full down auto rotations. I did one that's called a departure auto rotation, where you basically take off with the aircraft, get to about 75 feet in the air, and then enter the auto rotation. Um, it is absolutely, completely possible to do a successful auto rotation all the way to a full down with you know, you know 50 to 75 feet of altitude. You'll notice when you watch the video, the first 25 feet. As soon as I enter the auto, it's about 17 or 18 seconds into the uh, slow motion video. And the aircraft seems to lose a significant portion of altitude relatively quickly. And that's that 25 feet of altitude that you generally lose when you enter the auto rotation. So you'll see that the aircraft really tends to kind of fall out of the sky that first 25 seconds. And at that point, you've got enough air coming up through the rotors that you're starting to drive the rotors and really significantly decrease the uh, sink rate. And shortly afterwards, you got to get the flare going and you can set the aircraft down successfully with nearly no forward airspeed uh, after having lost an engine uh, from about 75 feet on takeoff and so we're gonna show you that video now and see what you guys think and by the way aircraft still intact all the parts and pieces are there see the tail still there mm -hmm. so we didn't tear anything up so or I didn't tear anything up so let's take a look at the video here So the first part of the video you saw was actually in slow motion and set the aircraft down, slid it onto the ground, had maybe, I don't know, three or four miles an hour, basically forward airspeed when, we, when I actually set the aircraft down. The second part you're gonna see is actually in real time. So this is what the uh, auto rotation looks like from within the aircraft in real time. So I just showed you guys that it's absolutely possible to enter an auto rotation at a relatively low level if you have adequate airspeed. And an auto rotation is the one skill that you have got to learn to master if you're going to be a helicopter pilot. So all of you guys and gals that are out there and you decide you want to be a helicopter pilot, you're thinking, oh, i got to be able to land this thing and sit it down and make it look really good and all that. None of that shit really matters. The one thing, the absolute one skill that you have to have if you're going to be a helicopter pilot, to be able to enter an auto rotation uh, successfully. 
to save your own life and the life of your pastors on board. So you have got to learn to enter an auto rotation and perform an auto rotation um, you know, adequately. And it, that can be relatively ugly. You can enter an auto rotation at the sit down, you can bang it around a little bit. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't look very graceful, but you survive it. And if the engine quits, you have got to get the collected down. And I've reviewed several accidents where people have ran out of fuel or had an engine loss for whatever reason. They did not lower the collective. They got a blade stall and it was universally fatal every time, all right? So of all the skills that you have to possess to be a successful helicopter pilot, uh, the one you have to have is the ability to enter an auto rotation and enter the auto rotation and finish it up successfully because really nothing else matters. All the other things are style points, okay? So you look better if you be able to land it and set it down and grease the aircraft on and all of that. But the one thing that will save your life is your ability to perform an auto rotation. So all of my old students that are looking at this <laughs> video, uh, come on back home, let's do some more autos. And uh, let's make sure that everybody can that I've trained can do them adequately. And uh, we'll see you soon.